Hello everyone, it's Ophelia. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just thought I would share with you a quick video as to what's in my travel bag. Um, I travel quite a bit um, and I like to keep this bag with me just to have something in my hotel room or if I'm visiting family. Um, sometimes it never makes it out of the bag and sometimes I just will sit around and just to kind of relax at night and um, just play around in my sketchbook. So I've always been very fond of seeing what other people have in their travel bags. So I just thought I would share this one with you. If you're new here, thank you so very much for coming over to my channel and I'd love for you to subscribe and definitely give this video a thumbs up. But if you like seeing um, videos of what's in other people's travel bags, then just keep watching. Alrighty, I decided to end up moving um, things out of the way just so I could have a little bit of space to show you. Um, but this is just what I usually keep with me, like I said, whenever I'm traveling. Um, and it seems like a lot and a lot of things, you know, I may not necessarily need, but I always just like to have things just in case. Um, so these guys are my pencil and pen pouches. Um, and inside of this little pouch my friend Patty gave this to me and I just it's just beautiful but um, I like to keep a variety of color pencils in here um, Prismacolor and other pencils that I just kind of keep in there just in case I want to you know end up using them for something but um, this is the bag that I keep colored pencils in and then I have this other pouch that I keep um, a variety of markers, you know, um, Faber-Castell I like to use, um, gel markers, acrylic paint markers. It just kind of depends on, you know, what mood I'm in. I do like these and I really not have, I have not had a chance to play with them a lot, um, but I'm finding that when I have played with them, they're the Marabou Aqua Pen Graphics. Um, I really enjoy playing with those and just what they do on a page. Um, so I keep my pencils in my bag and um, of course this one and usually whenever I'm packing I will um, just run up and everything usually stays in the bag or somewhere near the bag um, but I usually try to at least switch out the watercolor pans just so that um, I don't know I can just end up playing with different ones but this one is the Mission um, Gold Class watercolor set and I, I like these a lot. Um, you know, like I said, I do have a lot of watercolor palettes, but I do like playing with those whenever I get a chance to play with them. Um, also, I keep um, this little package, and a friend of mine, Linda, made this little, it's like an envelope. Um, but inside of this guy, I keep like an ephemera pack of just um, different papers and such to glue down, as well as other bits and pieces of ephemera or collage sheets or um, pages that I've painted and such like that um, just so that I can work on you know just having little bits of things to glue down in my sketchbooks and then of course I keep um, my sketchbook in um, or I bring my sketchbook along just to kind of play around and you know record the day or such like that um, so usually I'll keep my bigger sketchbook with me, but then a lot of times I will bring along, and this is just a little, um, maybe six by eight, where I've practiced like drawing, and gosh, I just need to practice. Um, I don't really play in this one a lot, as you can tell this one's from 2014, um, but I just like to have it with me just so that I can kind of practice because... Um, I do want to um, get better at drawing and whenever I go I will swatch out my watercolor palettes just because I am literally addicted to watercolors it's just something about them but you know just um, practicing around um, in this little sketchbook is what I keep to just kind of practice drawing and you know other things where I'll glue things down and just kind of play and that's just probably my favorite way to um, I guess decompress after a long day of you know if I'm teaching or something like that I always 
like to just honestly play around in my sketchbook. So that stays in my bag as well as a, now everything's fallen, a, um, a little, one of these collapsible watercolor cups and it's a Faber-Castell, I think it's called a click and go, but I will keep this handy with some water just to play with watercolors. And I've got another bag here that um, I got these, they're Derwent Pro Color colored pencils and um, I just need to play with them more. Oops, I don't know if you can see it, but I just literally need to um, play with these a bit more. They're colored pencils and um, I just, of course, had to have them because they travel well and I will get to playing with them a bit more as the days go by. But um, I keep those in there as well as some paper towel. Um, I have this little, it's like a Charvin um, brush bag or little kit, I guess, to keep your brushes in. And um, I just keep a variety of brushes in here just to have with me like um, these travel watercolor brushes. Uh, what are they? Um, silver brush, a number two and a number six, um, a couple of watercolor brushes and then just some regular other Princeton. And um, this is one of the mimics that um, they have over at Jerry's and just some water brushes that I keep in there. Um, just, you know, usually I will end up using a water brush because it's easier, but a lot of times I will, depending on what I'm working on, I will, um, you know, end up pulling those out. Of course, I keep a spray bottle for my watercolors and, um, gosh, why do I have a, one of these big, it's the Faber-Castell big white pins that I like just for adding detail and such like that. Um, a variety of other pens, like a permanent marker pen. Now I'm really throwing things, but a, a permanent um, ink pen and um, some scissors to be able to cut things out. And, um, oh, this guy got everything in here I tell you um ooh, and I found a dollar that's interesting um a Jerry's Jumbo Bet Jet black pencil um an eraser I like these they're the Tombow like zero mono zero erasers and I like it because it's a really fine eraser to get into small areas um a oh, wow this is getting ridiculous but a um a water brush, another one of those, and this is a Derwent one, and I like that um, the point is pretty fine, so I like to use this um, or to just have it with me. Um, oh, and pencils. I usually will keep um, like this, it's a turquoise um, pencil holder, and I like this guy because, you know, it's got the, I usually keep a 2B lead or like a B lead in this. Um, but I like the fact that this cap acts as a pencil sharpener. Um, so I don't really necessarily need a pencil sharpener to go with it. But I usually keep an actual sharpener in my case with my colored pencils. But I like the weight of this. And um, Derwent also has, it's called a per Derwent Precision Mechanical Pencil. And this, guys, it just feels like luxury. I know it's just a pencil, but I just truly love um, just the feel of this pencil. This one is a, a 0.7 milliliter, and it is an HB lead that's in this. Um, and then other fun things like this. It's create a color, um, but it's got several different colored leads in the pencil. And um, I don't know. I just enjoy keeping this around. Um and, you know, of course, me, I, I do like to get and keep these, these, this one, these are the Daniel Smith um, little dot cards. And so this one is a Jane Davenport one that I've played with. And I just kind of like to just pull a different color every so often. And um, another Daniel Smith that I have. And whenever I purchase or get ready to buy a, um, like handmade watercolors. I like to at first start with their dot cards. And this one's a Hushwing 
um, palette and it's the Hushwing collection and I've, I truly enjoyed using this and of course I did go back and buy um, the entire collection but I like to take these little cards with me just to play around with in my sketchbook um, for some reason open oh, here's a another colored pencil I mean, pencil sharpener that I just keep in the bag um, let's see if we can't move some of this out of the way because as usual things get a little hectic around me um, I have gotten or I had gotten a um, like a little schminka it's the try it color cards and of course I failed to do anything with it yet so I keep it in my bag just to be able to pull that and play with it at some point um, and eventually I'll get to playing around with all my stuff but that stays in here um, oh this one is again and it should have been in that little folder but um, a friend of mine or I did a um, like a paper or an ephemera swap once and this just has little um, I, I'm gonna try to open it without ripping it um, but it's just got little stamps in it and like other little paper paper arrows and stuff like that that I will eventually use to glue down in my sketchbooks um, other things like of course anytime I go somewhere especially when I'm traveling in a hotel or whatever and I get these little luggage tags I always save them to put in my sketchbook um, my glue stick a couple of other random paint markers that have fallen out in the bottom um, and then of course this one is usually down in there um, I put this one in there for this weekend because I just wanted to play with it a bit more but it's my same um, Daniel Smith watercolor palette and this one's um, the palette itself is an older one I don't even know if they sell them anymore um, but this one is one of the first palettes that I put together when I found Daniel Smith and so I just like to keep it with me and um, back in 2017 they came out with these new colors so I just kind of put a little bit here at the top and put another palette together but um, this actual palette is just kind of I don't know it's just fun because it's the very first one that I put together years ago so that one made its way in this to the bag and um, then it's literally just um, that's about it except for you know I keep some random erasers here's another pencil um, and this is what I use honestly it travels with me everywhere I go um, even if I don't get a chance to take the things out and play with them I usually will keep this amount of stuff with me and it all fits into this bag um, and a friend of mine Patty gave this to me years and years and years ago and I just love it because it holds quite a bit of stuff and everything fits in and sometimes even if I am um, inside the bag I will throw in like an art journaling inspiration book or um, the last one I had with me was Danny Gregory's um, illustrated life book um, those kinds of books just in case maybe if I'm not feeling so creative I will at least have something that I can kind of read and be inspired by um, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I keep in my um, travel bag and I found myself a lucky dollar I think I'm gonna put this back in the bag so you never know just in case um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one and um, I don't know what are some of your favorite travel supplies what do you carry with you i'd love for you to leave those in the comments below and um i will see you guys next time bye